Good morning sheep fans, Cammy's the name, sheep's the game, just had a phone call from Tom, the farmer who has the Valley Black Nose, to say that he has a sheep lambing just now, but he's not just sure that all is as it should be, so he's asked me to pop over, have a wee look, and see what I think, so we're heading there now. Okay, so we've arrived here with Tom, he's informed me she's in labour, she has a, a lamb coming but there's a leg back, so we're going to get a hold of her, have a look and see if we can get these lambs out. Have you ever seen a valley black nosed lamb being born? Because I haven't. You want there we go. Wait, I'll just see what we're like here. Ah, oh, you're right enough, I'm just missing a leg. Hey, you're all right, lass. So what's happening here is there's just one leg coming forward with the head, and because we've caught her at a nice stage, we should be able just to ease that back Slightly, you're okay, lass. I know it's a bit uncomfortable. And find this other leg. You can, of course, get it out with one he one head and one leg. But you run the risk of getting stuck, which we definitely don't want. So here's the other leg coming now. And if we pull the two legs, the whole lot will come together. And we'll let mum just ease it out. It's nice for the lamb to get that pressure as it comes out, and we have a ewe lamb. Great result here. Look at this. Look at this here. Big lamb. Mm -hmm. So we're clearing the airwaves, as always, same as we do with our lambs. Look at that. Head, heads up already. How incredible is that? Oh, it's okay, lass. And it, with the umbilical cord, unlike with humans, the umbilical cord, that just naturally breaks away. So there's no fancy clamps or anything needing to go in there. Number two, number two coming. Straight up and uh, head up like that, that's impressive. Yeah, that's incredible how quickly they come up. Yeah, that's, that's very impressive. Okay, was this scanned for twins? Twins. A good scanner scan them. It's horrible when you scan them and you come to lamb them, quite embarrassing. But there is a second one coming. <laughs> and it's all well presented, head and both legs coming. Now, because we have intervened with this lambing and helped her with the first one, while we're here, you're always better. In my opinion, you're always better to get the second one out as well. Just, you've interrupted the natural rhythm of things. And let's just bust that before the lamb comes out. And here it comes, mum's just gonna ease, ease it out. It gives nice pressure on the lamb, gets its things flowing as it should. And we have two ewe lambs. What a result this is. The reason that's such a big result is because the ewes are so highly prized. And they're actually, in general, a ewe lamb's worth a lot, lot more than a, a, a ram lamb. And that looks like a very healthy lamb as well. A nice evenly sized set of twins. Nice black knees. <laughs> Straight up, clearing the lungs, look at that. Well ah, oh, that's impressive, like. I don't know often you see her. Right, Mum, you coming round? Oh, she just come round.
this this year. Oh, I see them, I. Oh, come on then. So this one here is three weeks old. Sunday. Sun on Sunday. So two weeks old then really. I'll go away. That's not a bad looking top lamb either. From an original Swiss show that I take it. Ah that lamb's that's a good yellow lamb that yeah. So there you go sheep fans, that was a first for me getting to lamb a Valley Blacknose. Always popular on the channel because they're such an unusual sheep, like we literally just have nothing else like that that I work with, their kind nature, their very unusual looks. That is really the reason why they're so popular in the UK. I'm really impressed with how those lambs were out heads almost straight up and as you're seeing there as we walk away and leave mum and the lambs they're starting to get up on their feet and look for a suckle we'll leave her now stop stressing her out let the lambs do their thing tom will keep an eye on them i'm sure they're just getting their tlc's here some iodine on the navels they'll get some colostrum make sure they're okay hope you enjoyed that one sheep fans we'll see you for the next one